Okay. So. Okay, so we've already started, right? We did the basic. template, right? Three bay frame, four stories. And now let's go through and it assumed something for us, right? Like Nick said, we didn't tell it what material we're using. We didn't tell it what the cross section sizes are and things like that. So it assumed something. There's some default in there, right? So that's the thing about using programs like this. You have to be really careful um, that you don't let it assume something. Be, just think about what does the program need to know to do what it's trying to do? And what have I told it? And what have I not told it? And if you haven't told it something that it needs to know, right, it's assuming something, and the answer is right or wrong, depending on what it's assuming. Okay, so let's go through and basically take care of all the things that it's assuming. So to define materials, we go up here, define materials. <laughs> okay, sounds good. Okay. It's a very convoluted process. Okay, so... They've got a couple materials in here. They've got 4,000 PSI concrete, right? And then they've got A992 steel. So we could pick one of those. Um, in this case, right, we're going to use 4,000 PSI concrete. But let me show you how we would do it, right? So let's go and do add new material. So let's just call it CONC, right, because we're going to make a new one. It's concrete and weight per unit volume. This is weight per unit volume. That doesn't make any sense to me, right? So let's just change the units. So pound per cubic foot. OK, so that's steel that's in there. So let's do concrete. Let's do my unit weight of 150. Uh, my modulus of elasticity, right, we have to calculate. So let's use F prime C of 4 KSI. And my modulus of elasticity E sub C, right, so for those of you that aren't in concrete, is 57,000 square root F prime C, where F prime C is in PSI. So my E sub C is going to be basically 3,600 KSI. Okay, so what we can do is we can just go back and forth, right? So I like I like unit weight in pound and feet, but I like other things is in kips and inches. So now I can put my E value in here. Hmm. Okay, I'm glad you guys knew. Sounds good. Okay, so the E value. If it would let me select it, there we go. So we've got 3,600 KSI for the E value. Uh, Poisson's ratio, whatever, we're not doing that stuff. Coefficient of thermal expansion, whatever, we're not uh, looking at that type of thing. And F prime C, we're going to do is 4. Sounds good. OK, so we've got a material in there, a concrete material. So our defined materials is done. So hit OK. There we go. OK. So after that, now we need to define sections. All right. So we've got a material defined. We need to assign the material to each beam and column. But in addition to that, we need to say how big the beam and column are. Right. So we need to define sections. Let's define the beams with a height of 30 inches and a width of 24 inches. And let's use 0.35 EI gross for the stiffness of the beams, right? Because they're cracked, so we don't use the full effect of stiffness. For the columns, for the interior columns, they're 34 by 30. And this is just based on our preliminary design, right? What we think is, is reasonable. 
So for the interior, 34 by 30. For the exterior, we're going to have 30 by 30. And for those, we're going to use 0.5 EI gross. Right, because there's some axial load in columns. So your modification factor that you use is a little bit higher for columns because the cracks stay shut a bit more because of the axial load. 